Hey everyone! Are you creating content for your website but struggling to know if anyone's even seeing it online? You've probably asked yourself, what page of Google am I even on? Understanding your rankings on Google is key. In this video, I'm going to show you a super easy way to be able to find out where you rank on Google, even if you're a complete beginner. So stop guessing and start tracking your progress so that you can get the clicks that you deserve. So let's get into it. Okay, so it's no secret that being on the first page of Google is really important. And the reason why is that most clicks happen on the first page of Google. In fact, in a recent study, 27.6% of clicks happen on the first search result. Here's a really cool chart that shows you the click-through rate of that number one spot all the way down to that number 10 spot. And you can see that those numbers continually gradually go down until you hit that number 10 spot. Now, what about the second page of Google? Well, here's the shocker. Only 0.63% of users actually click a result on the second page. This means that being on the first page of Google is super important if you want to get any share of those clicks. So if your goal is to get more clicks and more traffic to your website, it all starts with first understanding where you rank on Google. And the reason why is that if you know that you're ranking on page three for a certain keyword or phrase, there are strategic things that you can do to try and get you to rank even higher for that keyword to try and get on the first page of Google, which is where all the clicks are happening. So the first way to check where you rank on Google is super simple and you just need to go to google.com. So once you're here on Google, the first thing that you need to do is open an incognito window or a private window. And the reason why that you want to do this is because typically when you're logged in to your Google account in using Google, it's using the biases of what you search for, what you've spent time looking at, and it will kind of skew the search results from how a normal non-user that isn't you would see the rankings. So it's important to understand that Google is serving you rankings based on your behaviors. So if you want to get a true view of how you really rank on Google, make sure that you open an incognito tab or a private window. And then when you're in Google, you're just going to search for the keywords that you're targeting, that you're hoping that people are typing in for your website. So for example, for BKA content, we're trying to rank for a term for how to use keywords in your content. So if I type that in here to Google, so you'll see here on the page that the very first that comes up is the AI overview. And then below that, you're going to start seeing the organic search results. So the number one result is BKA content, number two, Squarespace, number three, opt-in monster. So right here, you can see, okay, we rank number one on Google for this term. But if you're not ranking number one, you would have to scroll down and maybe scroll from page one to page two to page three to page four and so on to try and find your website. Now, if you're trying to target a lot of different types of keywords, Doing this one at a time and scrolling through all those pages could take a really long time. Thankfully, there are some tools that can help you to speed up this process. And the first tool I'm going to talk about is completely free, and that's Google Search Console. Okay, so when you're inside of Search Console and you have your website selected, the first thing that you want to do is click on Performance. So when you're inside of Performance, you'll see that there's this average position tile. So you want to click it and you'll start to see this yellow kind of orange bar pop up. And this is what you want because when you scroll down the page, you're going to see keyword queries that people are typing in and the position that you are ranking for for those queries. Now this website that I'm showing you is a grammar type of website. So for the search query AP style LLC, you can see that we're coming up in the 1.3 spot on average on Google, which means that we are coming up on the first page and we're typically always that first result, which means that we're getting a lot of traffic. Now, the nice thing about Search Console is you can get a lot of data here, right? Like at the very bottom, you have the ability to select, you know, how many rows that you'd like to put on here. So I have this set to 500. You could have it set to 10 or whatever. I would suggest picking the most that you can. And then at the top right, you can actually export this data to a CSV file. And by doing that, that just gives you a way to organize and kind of keep track of what queries um, Google is actually showing that you're coming up for. Now, while Google Search Console is free, it does give you very limited data. You're only able to see the query and where it ranks, right, on Google, but you don't really have any insight into the type of keyword that it is, how much potential search volume it has, how difficult or competitive that keyword is, and that's where a third-party tool can really help to close that gap to give you that data. So the third-party tool that I'm in right now is SEMrush, and if you don't have SEMrush, that's okay. We actually have a link in the description below where you can try SEMrush free for seven days. So this would be a great opportunity to sign up for a free trial and do this exercise to find out where you're ranking on Google as well as to get some really awesome keyword data. 
So to get started, all you have to do is type in the domain name of your website up here in the domain overview section of SEMrush. So we're gonna use that example website that we just showed you in Search Console, which is grammarmill.com. So once I hit enter, it's gonna start giving me some really cool data about this website. Um, a lot of data that you need for strategy to understand what you can do to be able to raise yourself higher in the rankings. But when it comes to knowing where we're ranking on Google, if you scroll down to this page a little bit, you're gonna see this organic research section. So I wanna click view details. And when this comes up, it's gonna show me all of the keywords that I rank for, how much traffic I'm getting, what the estimated search volume is, what the KD ratio is or competitive ratio, the lower that number is, the easier it is to compete or to win that keyword organically on Google. And then I can sort this, export this data just like I could in Search Console, but I have a lot more data here, right? It will tell me here in SEMrush if this keyword has a informational intent or a commercial intent. And that's really good for me to know because that'll help me to understand if my content that I'm targeting or I'm writing for that keyword matches what most people's intent is when they're searching for it on Google. The other really nice thing about SEMrush is it's showing me which page on my website actually ranks for this word and what position it is on Google. So this makes really quick work of understanding which actual pages on your website are ranking on Google. Whereas where are you just ranking in general, which Search Console doesn't really give you that information. So as you can see, using a third party tool like SEMrush gives you some really critical and essential data to understand what's ranking on your site, what pages are ranking on your site, so that you can start formulating a strategy on how to raise yourself even higher in the search rankings for certain terms. Now, how do you actually start ranking higher on Google for certain terms? Now, before I get into that, I just wanna put in a quick plug for our Do It For You SEO content strategy services. Here at BKA, we have over 15 years of experience crafting winning content strategies that help to rank high online on Google and drive more traffic. So if you're struggling to get good SEO results and you wanna hand it over to the experts, come on over to bkacontent.com. Right now, you can sign up for a free SEO content audit where we're gonna take a look at your website and tell you all the opportunities that your website has to be able to rank higher on Google. And again, this SEO content audit is free. So what do you have to lose? So come on over to bkacontent.com and sign up for a free SEO content audit today. Okay, so let's get back to how do you start ranking higher on Google for certain keyword phrases? Well, it all starts with picking the right keywords. If we go back into SEMrush, what I mean is each keyword has a keyword difficulty ratio or it shows you how competitive that keyword is online. One of the biggest SEO mistakes that we see people make is that they target competitive keywords that they just can't win. And unfortunately, these keywords are typically the main keywords that have to do with your website. Now you may be wondering, hold on a second, how am I supposed to rank higher online if I can't target the main keywords that have to do with my business? Well, the answer is that you can target those keywords, but you need to make sure that your website is in the arena that even allows it to compete for those keywords. And the way that you get into an arena that allows you to compete is by targeting lower competition keywords and winning those and moving your way up the ladder so that you can start competing for those really big keywords. So if you're interested to learn how to do that, Watch this video where we go over in detail the three main steps that you need to follow to pick the right SEO keywords that you can actually compete for. So if you're ready to seriously start competing on Google and get more traffic and rank higher, click this video and I'll see you over there.